Get out of the way of the swinging foot. <laughs> okay, so I'm sorry in advance. <laughs> That's what you should say to your patient. So I much prefer to needle these from the side if possible. It's less painful than needling straight from the plantar aspect of the foot, you know, from kidney one and whatnot. So the flexor digitorum brevis, if you were palpating, would be um, through this region in the plantar aspect of the foot. Um, in a few minutes, when we needle quadratus plantar, so show that that's going to be deep to that and a little bit closer to the heel where we would catch that. But from here, from a side technique, and by the way, just with palpating the muscle, let me have you curl your toes down back and forth a few times and back so you can feel the muscle pop out as you do that. So for needling, I'm going to come in from this side angle. A nice deep breath for me. Next kind of kidney too. That's not necessarily horrible. Next one is this. Flexor digitorum brevis. The second one we covered. Okay. So when we needle quadratus, I'll just when we needle quadratus plantaris. It's basically going to be a similar technique, but you're just needling a little closer to the heel. And these these are relatively thin layers of muscle, so technically you're a little deeper when you're needling quadratus plantaris. Looks like you're the torn right there. Okay. All right, next person. No, 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 but a second of all from that, you can needle that one, or I typically needle that one, and I, I actually have recently needled this one. I had, I had a patient that had had um, some questionable, a questionable sort of distal peroneal strain slash suspected maybe stress fracture pain around the fifth metatarsal region, but she had a lot of pain on that lateral aspect of her foot and did have some tenderness in this muscle, so this was one that I, I checked. But when I'm doing this, I'm going to have you try to take your pinky toe out to the side. Yeah, out to the, out to the side. I, I know, it's hard, it's hard to control. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, yeah, so spread your toes. Okay. So, it's just a little weaker. Yeah, so we can, this is also not the finest area to needle, but basically we can kind of pincer this off the edge of the metatarsal, and more commonly I'll needle this from this angle. Downward. Okay. And downward. So you can, in theory, needle up from the bottom, but that hurts more, oh, so yes. don't do that. So we can needle down here, and not that that's the funnest way to spend an afternoon, but that's not too, too bad. Yeah. So we can needle down into that one from that angle. This is, this is abdu ab abductor digiti mini. Okay. One more. Hanging in there. It's it's more bladder because you're outside of that fifth metatarsal. When, when we get to the lumbricolar interosseum. Yeah. So the, you you can palpate the muscle from underneath here. She, it's hard to control your toes like that. Yeah. She splays on her toes. I mean, you can feel it tense up under there, but it's going to be a lot more comfortable than you. Know, I just kind of grab off the edge of the fifth metatarsal and you can kind of pincer that and just needle into what you're. Pinching. So for abductor pallicus, I'm going to have you try to take your toe. Spread your toes spread again. Spread your toes. There, and then back, and then out, and back. So I can feel it underneath my finger right here, and it's going to be a very similar thing to flexor digitorum brevis. I'm just going to be a little, a little bit more proximal than I was there. Go ahead and spread your toes just again, and then back. So I can feel that tense up right under here. So here, nice deep breath. Mm. Yep. Yeah. Nice. So you're like at the junction of the red and white skin. I just, just, just what? I'm more just thinking where I feel the muscle. It, just, yeah. just right it, it runs all the way back onto the edge of the calcaneus, so you have a little bit of a range, right. but it's not a big right. muscle. Right. So you could wherever you feel it there. the strongest is probably the best place to go. And how how is it different in the location of flexor digitorum brevis? There's going to be, if you're needling from that medial side of the foot, there's going to be some overlap when you're going through those.